hello again YouTube world and the rest of the world that will be watching this on my blog etc. Um, a while ago I came to you and I showed you a video which I was doing as part of my coursework which um, is called Capture King. Um, what you can see now is a website I've got in progress which might have some interesting stuff on in the future which will be nibblemouse.com uh, spelled with N-Y-B-B-L-E so don't get that confused. So I'm going to go and show you what the program looks like now. It's been over a year since the previous version and it is completely bugged up. Do not think it's some sort of finalized copy. It's absolutely nothing like that at all. But um, it does look a little bit better than it did before. It's got a few new features. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a message here so I can go like, hey, and click send and it sends and the other user here will receive that message. And now I'll go on the other laptop which is connected through the wireless on my network by the way just in case you're interested and I'll write a little message back and so you see they, it works fine so uh, what other interesting things does this have then? well all the online users that appear online, appear offline are created in an array and dumped in this list here so say I want to view the stats of Lindsay here I just click on the name and it sends a request through the UDP protocol using, well this was built for XP Service Pack 2 so it doesn't work completely with this stuff but as you may have guessed by looking at the windows I'm actually operating on Windows Vista at the moment that's because I'm running it as a Service Pack 2 which you can do by right clicking on the file going to properties and then compatibility run as Service Pack 2 um, there are a couple of problems that Vista doesn't come with the Windsock control as default, um, which you may have to download in order to run it, which I managed to do as well. And I found on a couple of machines to run it on, it doesn't have the um, combo dialog box DLL file on there either, but it just comes up when you try and run it frozen out. Just copy that into Google and search for the files, and you can put it in and find it fine. Um, so, say here I want. I'm going to go on the other PC so you can see the invite list properly. So I'm going to send an invite from Lindsay to Kurgi and you can see what happens. It isn't amazing, I'll tell you. So it has a little very annoying box which says invite received and it has 15 second timer here where I can accept it or reject it. It says the username and it says their local IP address, which in this case is 192.168.0.7 and it's timed out. How annoying. Let me invite again. So there you go. Invite received. So this time I'm going to accept it and it chucks us straight into a game. So um, if you've looked at my previous video, I said I wasn't going to do move validation. There are a couple of reasons to this. One of them is it is a very, very time consuming. I haven't got that kind of time on my hands. It was only a piece of A-level coursework in the end. It wasn't something I'm making money off or something that was going to be a serious project. So just to save myself time, I just called um, a little invalid move box here where someone selects an invalid move and it says to the other person via a little input box, um, multiple choice, yes or no thing, and it just says, have they called an invalid move? So it's kind of a based on trust game, but um, I'll just show you. You can move pieces around, and it moves on the other screen. That shouldn't be there. This is not. This is obviously not my nearest one, but um, I'll show you moving a piece from the other screen, and it just moves around. There isn't any kind of validation as such. Uh, I can drag drop pieces. You can't. One thing you can't do is move your opponent pieces and you can't take your own piece which comes up with another little thing you cannot take your own piece but what you can do is go and take their king in one move and it dies and stuff it has a little promotion thing because that was a pawn there but um, that's one thing that hasn't been properly implemented again just because it's a piece of coursework and I got the time oh wait I don't remember doing that well good news people it works <laughs> so uh, it's got little things. You can send private messages to people in here. So you get a little send message. Oh. That's strange. It appeared on the other computer, but not this one. As you can see, this is very, very bugged. But um, the backbone's there, and it's got um, good potential for people to develop off, I think. The source code's very well annotated. Um, 
which some people might be pleased for now and considering it putting this open source on the internet so not only could you mess around with it but you could also develop off it yourself and maybe create a much better chess game for Visual Basic 6.0 or someone could upgrade it to Visual Basic 2008 but personally uh, I'm at the moment trying to earn money to help support myself in a university degree so I haven't got that kind of time to go put on the program but I'm sure there's hundreds of people around the world who would love to mess around with something where the backbone is really being set up. It's got, you can do private messages, for some reason the other users just dropped out, but uh, I, I think it's okay, it's not the most amazing thing in the world, it's got me um, close to an A grade, mainly because of bad documentation, but you can see it's just something else that Visual Basic 6.0 can do and people that criticise Visual Basic out there, it, it does everything you need to do. Um, it just hasn't got the in depth of say like C sharp or something like that and well that's all for me really. So if you check out nibblemouse.com, N Y B B L E Mouse dot com soon enough, if you wouldn't navigate yourself to the Nibble Labs, you'll find an open source version of this. Um, it probably won't be online for another week or so. So you're talking about the 13th of June 2009, so if the date you're listening to this is past the 13th of June 2009, you should be able to find yourself a copy of this on here. But you never know, I might get around to putting it on today. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, there you go, so that's Capture King by Crystal McCurgan. And I'll see you guys again. Bye for now.